Well, Gary, it's, it's a couple of weeks on the, the training ground, which I'm sure has been yeah much much appreciated given everything else. But let's just start with the the injury news. You've had a few away on international duty as well. Where where do we stand with that at the moment? Yeah, so the squad was where it was before. Um, obviously, Gassan and Fajiri um, and Lewis Simpa, they've been returned to training now for a couple of weeks. Um, some of them... A little bit less than that, but like you know, within the last three weeks, all of them have been training, so they're good um, back in the squad. Um, and yeah, the other ones pretty much as it. Do you want me to list it? Yeah, well, would you? Yeah, okay, let's let's go through all of it so, because there's been quite a few of them. Yeah, so Jack picked up a, a hamstring injury, Jack Stevens, um, after the Reading game um, when he came off at half time. So um, he's not due to return till probably around the Derby game. Um, that's his sort of return to return to play sort of time frames but again they, these ones are all a little bit by ear aren't they how he feels and on a daily basis um, I've got Harrison down here as well so Harrison's due to return to play the Wickham game that week um, so, so that's last week of the season um, George Thomas obviously we know that's a long term um, Glenn McConnell right ankle he's due to return in the last week obviously got Jano as well last week of the season is when they're due could be before that and that's it really the rest are like I said Simpson, Gasson and Fajiri they've been training the last two or three weeks so hopefully that gives Steve a bit of clarification for my sloppiness the last couple of weeks so um yeah, that's pretty much where the, where the squad's at. Yeah, and it is almost the case of it never rains, but it pours, and that there's a mm. lot to be working through there. And I guess it's been, well, for you coming in, a case of compartmentalising it really and focusing on the players that you feel can make an impact in these key games. The headline news, I suppose, is is losing Jack Stevens. We mm. saw what happened at half time in the Reading game, but yeah. to, to lose your number one, you've got Will Manning obviously to, yeah. to come in, but it's just a, another thing to deal with. Yeah, no, look, it's just it's, yeah, a little bit like George in my first few days here and then obviously Jack, but I think I said it after what happened with George. Is, of course, you don't want to lose you know, important players, but it is unfortunately part of part of the life, isn't it? So, um, no, it's, then the opposite side of that is it's an opportunity for someone um, to come and grab it with two hands. Good pun, wasn't it? Um, I didn't mean that. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, yeah, so, um, yeah, we got Will and... Um, yeah, it's an opportunity for him. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to it. And he, um, judging by the last couple of weeks training and everything like that, he's looking forward to it himself. So, um, yeah, it's just part and parcel of what we have to do. And is it fairly obvious that that's part of the thinking with Chadwick coming back just to yeah. add to the goalkeeping numbers? Yeah, obviously, we'll, you, then, do you know what I mean? It, it just filters down, doesn't it? So, obviously, with Chad, as he's um, it's been out getting experience, he's match ready as well. So, um, you know, bringing him back into the fold is, yeah, it's just part and parcel of what we've got to do. With Fajiri, is there a chance he can play a part in, in one of the games this weekend? Yeah, look, he's, he's behind, obviously, Simpson and Gasson came back a week earlier than him. It is about getting more minutes in the training and, and in games and stuff like that. But yeah, he's ready. He's ready to contribute, I think. Um, what that will look like, we'll have to wait and see. Do you know what I mean? have to be careful as well. Um, it's only really been about 10 days he's been back training fully, but managed. But um, yeah, he's looking good, looking sharp, looks stronger every day with training and um, yeah, he's back into the squad. And obviously we wouldn't expect you to give away any fresh details, but is there anything beyond that that you've got to keep an eye on ahead of this weekend with injuries? Um, everyone carries like niggles and, and things like that and you know, you've got to try and manage, you know, we're at the stage of the season coming in here where yeah, there's ongoing issues that lads are playing with and stuff like that, but that's, I think every team sort of has that anyway, so yeah managing that in the trainings but to be fair with this last couple of weeks on the training grounds the first period of had or prolonged period to work with them we've we've done a lot of work and and we're you know real hopeful and expectation is a lot of that fruit of that labor should come out in these games that's what we want to see then we starting from tomorrow and um and taking it into the rest of the game so it, it came at the right time you know because of the results we had and you know, often you want the next game to come to put things right, but I think the break come well, it gave me a chance to really work with the players, kind of reset ourselves a little bit, not just on the pitch, but mentally and everything like that. I think that's what they needed. And and again, getting a bit more work and detail and stuff like that. It's been a good two weeks, but as I said before, it's all right doing it on the training pitch, just putting it into the games. But I think we're in a good space, judging by what I've seen in the last two weeks with the lads and all the way up to today when we're doing the trainings. Um, 
yeah, I expect to see a, um, yeah, some fruits of that labour that we've, the hard work that we've been doing over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, because I guess on on some occasions when you've had a bad week and then you have a two week gap, you can spend a lot of time fixating on it or worrying about yeah. it. But it works a bit differently when you're new in through the door. We've spoken about it before, where just such limited time to get your ideas across actually to to have those minutes must just be massive. Yeah, look, I think I kind of alluded to it after the the, the last two results was as much as you don't want them to happen from a coaching point of view actually shows you a lot of what you need to sort of think about more of you know like the, the Northampton game where it was different do you know what I mean it was like there was enough in there competing wise and stuff like that so then you roll on to the next game and then um, but then those two types of games show you a lot more of what's actually needed and, and what you've got to try and do with the players to get them you know, to compete at a higher standard, you know, that, that's needed. So um, that was, it wasn't a positive, but it's a positive for me as a coach, do you know what I mean? Like to, to see that in, in a sense. So, um, yeah, we've got down to work and we really try to understand why those things were happening and then put the work in place to help try and stop those things and also then to try and be a bit more of a of a threat and everything like that that we need to do and, as a team. So um, it's been a really good two weeks, honestly, and I know everyone can say that, but yeah, it's actually been they've been great. Um, we've worked really hard, and you know my expectation is of the lads is, is that we see that come out in the, in these games, not just the game on Friday, but continuous, like because we're not going to have another. We've got one week before the Charlton game where we've got a period, but the rest is fast paced. We're only going to get a lot of time on the training ground them. So it, I'm pleased that we had that time for sure. Yeah, so basically the hope is you've managed to set quite a few things in place now that will carry you through to the end. Yeah, look, you have to be adaptable as well. It's not, it is not; is a game-by-game game situation. So um, we have targeted, you know, being ready for this game um, tomorrow. But along with it is, is things that can carry across the whole thing, you know, from a mental point of view, situations in games, do you know what I mean, how it goes, what we need to think, you know, those, it's not just on the pitch, it's off the pitch as well, or, mentally as well so and also physically as well you know the stage of season where we could get a bit of freshness back into just a bit of a reset really so but that's why I feel yeah the expectation is that needs to come out from Friday and, and in the remaining games so the print there'll be I'm hoping to see the principles that we've worked on but game by game might change little subtle changes but the, the main things that we needed to work on we worked on. How have you found the difference between clearly a managerial career to date, Premier League and Championship? It's a really easy from the outside looking in sort of thing to say, but with League One players over these opening few weeks of, of being here, how have you how have you found the difference with this group of players? No, it doesn't change. Your job's the same, you know. It's just different groups of players, isn't it? Like and different characteristics. So, of course, you like longer to figure them out and. You know what I mean to work with them for longer periods to put certain things in place. Of course you do, but I've been in a situation before where you need to work quick and um, trying to work as quickly as we can without overbearing them. So there isn't a difference from my from my job um, across the league. There's there's obvious isn't in there like you know across the leagues the difference in you know athleticism and abilities and things like that. But that's normal. Do you know what I mean? But in terms of actually working with them, what we how they do it, how they respond to it, they're the same as. You know, levels have been at before, so it's been really pleasing. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I've enjoyed the last two results, but I know, it's, you know, my my experience. I know the big picture. Do you know what I mean? I know how it works. So, but we need to obviously get the short term right as well. And presumably, the the major limitation for the past couple of weeks, the four lads away on international duty. Have you yeah. had a, a decent amount of time with them? Yeah. Look, no. The, obviously, the your time's limited, isn't it? So, um, but there'd be a few clubs. You know, going through that anyway. Obviously, you've planned for that before, but the nucleus of the squad was here for the last two weeks, and we've worked hard. Do you know what I mean? So, you've got to make decisions, haven't you? Like whether international lads are ready to help come back in and contribute. Um, that's just part of managing, managing the players and managing the group. So, um, all I can say is that whichever eleven and and the guys on that come off the bench and everything like that is, you know, we can be as ready. As, we're as ready as we can be. You know, we just need to go out there now and trust ourselves and deliver performance that we can be proud of. Just quickly, some thoughts on on Barnsley. If you liked what you've you've seen from them, yeah. Look, it's it's another team where you know they've got one of the strongest squads in the league. Um, highly mobile team and really good technicians with the ball. I, I know that they've um, result wise, it looks on paper like they've 
maybe dipped in some of the results, but if actually watching those games, they should have won those games by far. You know, they've been missing opportunities. So they're, they're a very, a very good team. Um, and obviously that's why they're up where they're up, um, competing where they are in the league. So um, it's going to be a tough game for us. Um, but I expect to see like a, a much stronger performance from us um, going into this game than, than we have done in the last two. Cool, that's great for me. Gary, you brought Mamadou back from Gateshead in a position where you seem quite well stocked with Ryan, Michael, Jibril, uh, Zeno as well. Just you're thinking there, is, is he coming back and you know will be in the sort of squad from now to the end of the season? Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, as many options as I can get is going to help, you know, and... and you know, it's quick turnarounds in games. A lot of things happen. And like I said, lads are carrying niggles and there's freshness and all this type of thing. So Mamadou's been playing week in, week out. He's not like he's just been training and it's not got the, the match fitness there. So, yeah, he, he, and he's, exci- he's an exciting prospect for the club. So I need to look at him and, you know, I don't just want to get to the end of the season with these young players and they've been out alone. I haven't seen them. And then you come back in pre-season, that's the first time you see them. So um, there's a little bit of everything involved in that. Um but he can contribute, and but also gives me a chance to, you know, which I have been doing. Um, good eyes on him, and he's in a position, um, yeah, to be in the squad and play. What is it you like about him as a player? I know you haven't had long with him, but he's looked comfortable in the EFL trophy games he played earlier in the season as well. What is it about him you like? Yeah, look, he's got all the attributes of of, of your modern day defender. You know, his size, his athleticism, um, and obviously his attributes on the ball. Um, so he's definitely going to be one moving forward. Um, you know, along with the likes of Zeno and stuff like that, um, you've got those that profile, and you probably just need to be given the opportunities. Um, so, um, you know, that's my job to do that, and you know, when I feel it's right and when I can, um, and that's where like you've got the long-term view, but also, can they contribute now? I think they can. You know, they're just as as good as they are. Yes, they have less experience, but um, you know, I'll, using them where I see fit is, is going to be important. So I can really see not just in the here and now and help us here and now, but what we can have beyond this as well. And just on Barnsley, um, the stats show they're brilliant away from home. I think got one of the best records in the division away from home. Not so great at home for some reason. Let's there hope any, so. Is there, is there anything you can put your finger on or anything you've seen that might be a reason why that is? Or is that just a, a quirk? I think it's more of a quirk. I've watched pretty much most of their games from the season. And if I'm honest with you, some of those home results... If I'm honest about it, they should have won quite comfortably. It's just been certain situations in games where they've missed a lot of chances and certain teams have taken their couple of chances they had and they've ended up on the wrong side of the result. Um, and, um, and like anything, I guess at home, there's a lot of emphasis on you as the home team in, in situations, isn't there? Like So um, that can often play a factor as well. You you play slightly different than you, you know, at home than when you, you do away So because um, the emphasis is on the whole team a lot, depending on where you're at and what type of team you are in club. Um, but no, I think like, I wouldn't read too much into that. They're, they're an exciting, they're a good team. They're up where they are for a reason. It's going to be tough for us, but I expect us to put a performance that we can um, yeah, come off the pitch at the end and know that we can be proud of it. Good for me. Yeah. Hi, Steve. Clarifying on some of those injuries. No worries. Um, I, I just wanted to double check on a, a couple. Did you oh. mention Brandon Hornstruck at all? Yeah, Brandon. So he's it's it's got to be confirmed. So this is he's got a calf injury at the moment, um, which he's he's been back. He's kind of been the last couple of weeks, been back out on the pitch and a little bit feeling a bit of tightness, and then coming back out on the pitch and then literally this week um, he's um, he's felt his calf. So. Um, we we'll have to see on that one. That's the only one that's put, got TBC right next to it to be confirmed in terms of returning. Yeah, no worries. Um, yeah. Glenn McConnell, I think you said was last week. Season, so. Yeah, so it's, that's his due date. But like, like I said, I think with these guys that are due back then towards the end of the season, it's a little bit of feel about it as well. It might be a week before. It might even be a, you know, a week later. It just depends at those final stages. You've got to be careful not to, not to rush it. Yeah, totally understand. Um, is there a timescale on George Thomas on the, on the sheet? Um, so, yeah, so it's an ACL, so reconstruction. So that's, you probably look, I don't want don't want to predict too much, but like you're, you're probably talking like maybe February time, January, February time, March time. Again, you never know with those because you can, 
it all depends how each phase goes. Um, you know, I've had one myself and it was told it was 12 months and I was back in nine months and it's like, but I could quite easily have been 13, 14 months. So with those, with someone like George, I wouldn't really want to give, obviously it's going to be quite a, a period of time into next season, but um, I guess an ambitious one would be around Christmas and a realistic one would be after Christmas, um, probably with George. Yes, yeah, so it's good to start you can ask him like when George is right. back. Yeah, but he's been back in training. Yeah, back in training with the squad. Um, yeah, both were back in training with the squad, and yeah, it was more Hods who had picked up a little bit the week before, wasn't it? And then. Um, but he's been training all last week and, and, and this week, so um, yeah, no, good as good as go. And all the international players, are they all in contention? Are they, are they all able to play on Friday? None of them ruled out. No, they're all fit, um, fit and ready. So um, it'll be a case of just like yeah, seeing you know what I think like in terms of freshness and how they feel. You know, some have had to travel um, quite a lot and. Um, it's good that they've played games and trainings and everything like that, but that depends. You know, travels bit. You know, it's a long travel, so um, it'd be just making decisions based upon where we feel they're at and and what we need. Yeah, and how did you approach the international break as well? Is it about working the players as like getting as much work into the players as possible, or do you have to strike a bit of a balance there, give them make sure they have some time off? Um, I think because of the stage of the season, it's a it's a balance, but we've definitely worked. Um, and we have to. We're in a situation we need to work. Um, so, but they've been great with it. It's been, it's been a good period. We've just tried to clarify quite a few areas that we need to improve on, and also some areas that we've actually done all right on um, that we need to do more of. Um, and then also striking that balance because of the stage of the season where the, I said the characteristics of the squad and you know the niggles and things like that. You have to bring a bit of freshness to it and a bit of mental reset. So they have to have, you know. A little bit of downtime, but yeah, the, we've used it well. Um, I feel, and like I said I expect to see the the fruits of that labour come out, you know, on, on tomorrow and then into the next games. Yeah, just the last one from me as well. Obviously, the last couple of games clearly haven't been good enough. But are you confident from uh, from what you've seen over the last couple of weeks that there will be an improvement tomorrow? Yeah, that's been the aim. Um, I think you just have to, it's, you know, those type of situations happen where, you know, the last two results, you can use them one and two ways. You can either feel sorry for yourself or you can try and do something about it. So um, my mentality have been, is to do something about it. And, and we've been putting that across for the last two weeks to the players and they've been really good with it. Um, but like I said, you can sit here and say all those things in the world. It'd be, the proof will be in, in the game. So, But I expect to see tomorrow from the way we've trained, the way the players are and just the feel I have for them is... Is that we'll see a, a, um, a lot of that, that work come out in the game tomorrow.